Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Some More Pinball Arcade. And uh, this is going to be, for now at least, the final episode in the series, because we're kind of out of tables to play with, except for this one. Yay! So we're going to do... What we're going to do in this uh, kind of interim final episode until they add more content into this is we're going to check out this table and then some of my favorite ones from the other sets that we've played so far. So let's jump into it and have a have a gay old time, you know? This is my uh, my first video back from my little three-day hiatus that I that I went on for the uh, for the holidays and I'm excited to be back now playing things, making weird comments about stuff. And I just feel, it feels good, you know? I got the day off today. It's the last day off I'm going to have for for a little while. Until Wednesday, I suppose. So, I'm pretty I'm pretty cool with it. It was just nice to be able to take a few days off and spend time with my family and such. I think that's something that everybody kind of strives to do, especially during Christmas, so. The biggest question I have for you guys, though, is uh, did everybody, everybody get the big hookup for Christmas? Did you guys get exactly what you wanted? Did you do anything at all for Christmas? Did you uh, have a really low-key one like I did? I didn't really do a whole lot for Christmas this year. I mean, what happened was, um, because, you know, nobody really did, went out and did any shopping, it was just kind of a, you know, more of like a spending time with the family more so than getting like a bunch of presents and stuff. And I was, I was cool with that. Like, I, I wasn't like, oh, dude, you guys suck for not buying me stuff. Uh, I was, it was fine. Like, I just, I really just enjoyed, A, not being sick on Christmas for once, because that always ends up being what happens to me. Like, I think that, like, probably six out of the last eight years, I've been sick on Christmas. With the exception of uh, last year and this year, where, like, the only times I've actually been healthy during Christmas in a long time. So... And it was, I don't know, it was just, it was really nice just to kind of relax and just hang out and, you know, watch basketball with, with, uh, with, like, my grandma and my parents and my brother and his wife and everything, so. It was, it was, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. It was probably for only getting, like, just a couple of presents and, you know, just kind of lounging around and watching football and, and eating until I gained, like, 916 pounds from, uh, the overabundance of like the corn casserole and the, you know, the honey ham and the fucking everything else. I think it was uh, it was quite successful actually. So I'm cool with that. But did you guys get everything you were looking for? I'm trying to I'm trying to kind of get a little bit of an idea of what everybody else was getting for Christmas, just because I'm I'm intrigued by it. I love knowing what people got. Did anybody get like a like an Xbox One or a PS4 or anything like that? So I kind of I kind of want to get like some opinions on people if if it's like if it's kind of lived up to the hype so far, because I only know, like, a couple of people that actually have the systems, but I haven't actually talked to them yet about it, so I'm kind of intrigued by the whole thing to see if, uh, if it's worth me going out and buying one or not. So, the other thing, too, is, dude, I, I have a funny story, actually, about this whole thing. So, when I was going over to my grandma's house on, uh, on Christmas morning, you kind of, what happens is you kind of, to get to her house, because I was like the last one to get there, because I woke up late again, like I do every Christmas, and I kind of take this back road to go over there, and it's kind of, I don't want to say like it's like out in the country, but there's a there's like a couple of people that own like, you know, farms, and they've got barns and horses and all that shit everywhere. Oh my god, an extra ball at a hundred million? Jesus. This must be a really high scoring table, but I'm just not really hitting all the key points. There we go. I guess that kind of helps out a little bit, but, um, so I'm driving out there and I'm the only car on the road and it's just like a little, little tiny, you know, narrow two lane street and like it's right next to all these houses and whatever. And, uh, I'm driving and I can kind of see that there's a guy, there's a guy that's just like, he's riding his horse out and out in the field by, you know, right next to his house. And I'm kind of not really paying attention to it much just because, you know, I didn't really feel the need to think into it very much, but I'm, you know, pulling up because there's like a, there's like a, uh, there's like a railroad track that kind of cuts across right in the middle of the, right in the middle of the road right there, and so, I mean, you know, by law, you're supposed to kind of, you know, stop up next to it, even though I, I never do, like, I think that in the, like, 13 year history of me living here in Kaiser, I've only seen a train pass that thing, like, maybe twice, ever, and one of them was just like a few months ago, 
And, uh, wow, he actually got through that thing all the way. We were nowhere near getting that extra ball, by the way. Like, not even close. We caught one fish, though, for 250 gr- God, imagine getting 250 grand for catching a fish. Just one. Like, that's the kind of money they'd give you for catching, like, the fucking Loch Ness Monster or something. They might give you a little more than that, I don't even know. If it even exists, do 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 But back to the story. So, the, uh, so I, I kind of pull- I'm kind of like- Pulling up to this thing. Oh, what the f Oh, okay, that was like our bonus. So I was like pulling up next to uh, this. Or like I was still like maybe like a couple hundred yards away. And I was like getting to the point where I was going to start slowing down. And all of a sudden the guy on this on his horse just like darts out right in the middle of the road. Like right, like maybe only a f like a, about 50 yards in front of me. And I was going like 60 miles an hour. So I had to just slam on the brakes as hard as I could. And I was just like, oh shit, I'm gonna hit a horse! And uh, I, I barely missed it. But the part that was weird is that as soon as I came up to a complete stop and, you know, my heart was going at like 500 beats per minute, the guy, like, started yelling at me like it was my fault. Not, not his fault that his horse just ran out in the middle of the road and I had to just slam on my, you know, really shitty 1993 brakes on my car to prevent from causing this giant catastrophe of A, running over a horse with a guy on it, B, completely obliterating my car because a horse weighs like 5 million pounds. We're gonna play some Black Hole, by the way. I, I really love this table. This was the first one that I was like, oh my god, it's so cool. But yeah, dude, he was like yelling at me like it was my fault. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, your horse almost ruined my car, so don't even sit here and try to play it off like it was my fault. Okay, maybe I was going a little bit fast, but that still doesn't excuse your fucking horse for just being like, Hey, I'm gonna go run out in the middle of busy traffic! Woo, that sounds like an awesome idea! So, yeah, dude, I about had a godforsaken heart attack. And then he just kind of, you know, after, and like, I rolled down my window and I was like, what are you yelling at me for? Like, your horse almost ruined my car. And he's like, well, you should be paying more attention. I was like, well, you shouldn't be riding your horse out in the middle of busy traffic. It's like, so think about that one. I don't care if, you know, there's not a lot of, there's like a lot of just open area out here. That doesn't mean that you can just ride your horse out in the middle of the street whenever you feel like it. And he's just like, whatever, man. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Why don't you go, go back in your fucking barn and go eat some hay, you dick. So there was that. I almost went and got myself killed. Oh, yeah, here we go. The thing that just totally blew my mind the first time we saw it. I feel like this would totally mess with my brain, though, just because the perspective of it being upside down like this would just totally rock my world, and I don't mean that in the sense of something like, I don't know, it'd be weird. So, yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, we had such a huge, like, spread for Christmas dinner, though, it was wild. We had, like, all the ham, we had, uh, we had, like, pork loin, and, like, this kind of like this uh, beef tenderloin type of thing going on, plus we had this uh, corn casserole, which is the same thing that we had uh, during Thanksgiving. Uh, and we also had like, we had a green bean casserole, we had my grandma's special jello, which is weird because she, like, she never makes it on Christmas, but because she didn't make it for me during Thanksgiving, she's like, well, I, I couldn't just do that to you for two holidays in a row, so I just, I made it for you for Christmas, and it was awesome. Because she used raspberry instead of strawberry, which made it like a hundred times better, because I'm not even like a huge fan of strawberry, but that's like one of the few things that I can have that when I eat it, I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, I love strawberries now. Oh shit, okay, here we go. I forgot this thing has like its own separate score counter down here, so that's kind of cool. And we're racking up the points. Like we're actually one third of our points or we've actually equaled one-third of our points from the actual field out here. So that's kind of cool. I think we're probably going to end up hitting the score limit here pretty soon. Boop, 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 boop. See, I love the, I love the, uh, kind of the, the ominous background music for this. Because it's just do 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 It's so, like, low-key. It's not, like, weird, kind of, like, that weird, awkward video game music. 
where they try to make like some sort of melody out of it, but because you know it, it was way back when, like it just sounds super awkward. Oh yeah, look at that. We are we are doing it right now. So yeah, it was it was awesome. Uh, my my roommate Blake actually made me a present because um, he's been kind of like working in like etching glass, and so he actually he made me like one of those awesome like beer mugs. And he made, like, uh, because I'm a huge Oregon Ducks fan, he actually, like, etched the Oregon Ducks logo on it. And so that was really cool. And, uh, on top of that, he etched, like, a, like, a little, like, diagram of the state of Oregon on it on the other side. And it was super awesome. Like, it was really cool. And I've always wanted just a really, really cool, uh, beer mug so that I can, you know just randomly drink beer in my house because I've never like I've always wanted to just like be able to sit in my in my room and drink beer out of a big mug and have it like have like it just be like frothing all over the place while I'm listening to like friends in low places or something even though it'd be way better in a group of people not just like sitting by myself but you get the idea generally and so it's pretty, uh, gonna be pretty awesome. I've actually still got a lot of things going on here. I've got a, uh, Christmas party that I'm going to tomorrow night, which is weird because it's on the 28th and it's after Christmas, but it, it, it'll be, it'll be awesome anyways, though. We usually have it earlier, but, like, nobody could really make it when we planned it out the first time, so we're just gonna do it that way, and then a couple days after that, we're doing a New Year's party, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a busy-ass week, man. I'm just, I'm digging it. And amongst other things, I'm just really excited to be able to start up some new projects. Like, I already started trying to do one today, but it just didn't want to cooperate with me. So I'm going to, I decided to do this while I'm waiting for something else to start up. Um, let's see. I hated Genie, like, really bad. I love Medieval Madness, but we're not going to do that. You know, let's, let's play some No Good Gophers for right, for right now. We've still got some time here. I'm, I'm trying to, trying to stretch this thing out a little bit. Just because it's the last episode in the series for a little bit until they add some new material in. But yeah, dude, I'm pretty pumped. Like, I got a little bit of money from my grandma, and we actually got a, uh, we actually got a brand new big screen TV. And it's like, it was like kind of the joint present for, like, my parents and myself. Because, you know, we're all still, you know, living here in the same place. And so, it actually will replace, uh, in the living room, we have... We have like this old ass entertainment center that we've we've had since probably I don't know like 1998, and it's got like a it's had like a 30 inch TV in there for as long as I can remember. It's been there for a long ass time, and like the TV still works just fine. But since we're always entertaining people in the room with that TV, and like you can't really see that TV unless you're sitting like directly in front of it because the entertainment center is just a piece of shit and it blocks off like almost all the field of vision for it. She bought us a, a new big screen TV to put in there and so we can finally get rid of that. And uh, so that's going to be awesome. And it's like it's like a 50 inch one and it's like a 50 inch uh, LED TV and so I'm super pumped about that. But the only downside is we don't even, we don't have a stand to put it on yet so we can't actually put it up. So... <laughs> It's it's kind of kind of a pain in the ass, but we actually my brother has an extra stand uh, that we can use for it. So as soon as we can get that from him, then I'm gonna try to set it up down there. Especially because it's college it's college football bowl season right now, and it'll make it even better because now I won't have to take the big screen from my room and haul it all the way downstairs and put it in there. Because that's what I've been having to do for the last you know couple of months. Is that whenever whenever anybody wanted to watch like the college football games, I'd have to take the TV out of my room and then you know haul it downstairs so that everybody could watch it down there. Which so I didn't have a problem with it, like it was fine, but it just it kind of became a little bit tedious, like when I had to haul it up and put it back in here because it's in such like a confined space. So you know, it's it was whatever. Like I'm not like I'm not pissed about it or anything. It's it's cool. So there's that. So after I get done with this, I'm going to try to work on a couple more videos before I uh, go out and uh, do some stuff for the day. So I should have plenty of time. I mean, it's only like 2 o'clock right now, so I've got plenty of time to make sure that I get the pilot episode of both of my new projects up and running. So that'll be, that'll be awesome. 
And apparently Montezuma is playing Rust right now, which I'm trying to remember if I've heard of that game or not. I, I don't know. I want to say that I have heard of it, but I'm not positive. Oh, wow. We completed the second hole in two strokes. Well done. Shoot the captive ball. Is that that little spot in the middle there with the two balls? Chilling out? Oh, damn it. I think after we get done with No Good Gophers, we're going to do one more table, because that's going to be all about all I have time for, so... We'll, uh, we'll make sure that... Uh, I know exactly which one I'm going to do, too. It's going to be that one with uh, the fucking... Where it starts out and it's on a timer, and you guys have to keep shooting until you can eventually, uh... You know, try to score as many points before you run out of time and your turn's over. That, that still, to this day, may be my favorite Dude, concept what? ever for a pinball table. It's so fucking awesome. Like, why don't more people do that? It's like the most ingenious plan in the world. I really need to take a piss, but that's not gonna work right now. I'm also really hungry. Oh god. Super bad lag time right there. That was, that was kind of uncomfortable. There we go. Ah, and there's the score limit, my friends. My god, I love No Good Gophers. It's such a fun table. Um, I think that that one... Was it in Season 2? I think it was. I'm not positive. What would that one have been? Um... Which one was that? It was Going Nuts, I think. Yeah, 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 I think it was this one. I guess we'll find out pretty quick if it was or not. Was it going nuts? I don't remember, but I think it was. Oh yeah, it was. God, this is such an awesome idea. Why the fuck aren't more tables doing this? Not to mention, it's actually a pretty high-scoring table, too. And they get to start out with multi-ball, like, smartest fucking idea in the world. And I love that, like, when they do add time on it, it's not, like, in super large increments, so it still makes you, like, have to go out there and hit as many things as humanly possible. Because it only gives you, like, an extra two seconds, so... It really does force you to, uh, make some good decisions. And definitely, I went out and played some more darts last night, because now I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm not, like, the worst player in the history of the world now. But I definitely had a couple of really, really rough games last night where, like, I, and I don't know if it, if it was, like, a matter of the table, or not the table, but the, the board actually, like, getting kind of worn out, and, like, the cork was starting to develop a bunch of holes in it, because I would throw my darts, and there were, like, six or seven different turns where I would shoot it, or I, I wouldn't shoot it, I would throw my dart, and it, it just, it wouldn't even stick in the board, like, it would just straight up fall out. And it was so annoying. Oh, damn. Ran out of time on that one. Let's try ball two. Oh my god, I forgot, it actually like, counts down before it shoots the thing out for me. Okay, let's see if we can score a little bit more than we just did last time. I have a text. My dear God, it was really loud and kind of scared me a little bit. Here we go. Now we're going to start raking in the jack. I hope. Oh, 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 never mind. I was like, score limit, damn it! It came so quickly! That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, like, sex! Get up there. There we go. See, those are the ones that I think that give you a little bit more time because they're so far up the table that they're actually, they're just harder to hit. Oh, oh, oh. That's all right. We're kind of, we're kind of on a roll right now. Oh, 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 fuck. Meanwhile, this other, this other ball is just chilling back there. It is, it is doing all the work. Like, I haven't even had to really do anything with that ball yet. It's just kind of... Playing by its own rules. Yeah, see, we've already got like 50 seconds under our belt here. Score limit? Ah, oh, there we go. I guess it was going to happen at some point. 
Hey, Marshall, you should beat Maryland by more than four points because I definitely I picked a spread on you, so you need to you need to cover that shit for me. All right, my friends. Well, we have run out of time for this episode and temporarily for this series, but when they come back and add some more material in here on the season three set for tables, we'll come back and do some more uh, some more videos for this, but. We have uh, some new fish to fry, my friends, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start working on those. So I thank you guys for watching this series for the uh, for the tenure that we've done for it so far. We'll be back with more, though. So this is your host, AMF1534, saying it feels good to be back making videos again, and I hope that you guys all had a, a, a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, everybody. Bye.